good afternoon on the previous turn we have discussed about uh, the basic concept of set and now in this uh, continuation of this particular topic we are going to discuss subset what is subset basically subset is a uh, suppose we have a, a particular element in a set uh, that is that is set a and we have another set b then a is a subset or a will be the subset of b when the elements of a are present in set b now uh, suppose we have a diagram here uh, the, it is also known as uh, venn diagram now the elements of a we have the elements of a as 1 2 3 and the elements of b are 1 2 3 4 and 5 because uh, and uh, now we here we can say that a is a subset of b because we have uh, the elements of a as 1 2 3 and all those elements of a are present in b so the concept of subset is that the elements of a should be present in the another set now what is proper set and now one one more thing is that the when we are using the venn diagram then the universal set is represent represented using the symbol capital u and uh, here we have the because uh, all the elements of set a is present in set b so set b is represented by the uh, larger circle and uh, set a is present set a is can totally contained in set b hence set a is totally uh, present in this uh, larger circle now what is proper set uh, what is proper subset uh, suppose uh, we have a set a and uh, an other set b then uh, a will be the proper subset of a when b has at least one element greater than a then remember the condition b should have at least one element greater than a then we can say that a is a proper subset of b suppose we have the elements of a as 1 2 3 and the elements of b are 1 2 3 and 4 uh, please note that in set b we have one element more that is 4 is the extra element so the condition of proper subset is that uh, the elements of set b should have at least one element more than set a this is the condition but suppose if set a has uh, the elements 1 2 3 and set b has the elements 1 2 3 then we can say that a is a subset of b but we can't say that that a is a proper subset of b we can't say it only we can say if the elements of set b has at least one element greater than set a then we can say that a is a proper subset of b and we have the next uh, that is equality when uh, two sets are equal uh, equality when we are discussing the equality of sets then two important uh, parameters are to be noted one is the equivalent and another, another is the equal when uh, two sets are equal and when two sets are equ uh, equivalent it should be uh, very much explained now uh, please note that suppose we have a set a and the elements of set a are 1 2 and 3 and we have another set b and the elements of set b are a b and c now uh, if if we are comparing the two sets a and b then we can say we can't say that a and b are equal because for equality the both elements of the elements of both sets should be equal because uh, suppose here we have the uh, elements in first set is 1 2 3 and the element in set b is a b c they are not equal so we can't say that the set a and b are equal but for equivalent the cardinality parameter in the previous term we have discussed about the cardinality of set so cardinality of parami uh, cardinality parameter uh, plays an important role uh, the if the cardinality of two sets are equal if the cardinality of two sets are equal then we can say that the two sets are equivalent so for equivalent the cardinality of both sets should be equal uh, should be equal but for equal sets the elements of both sets should be equal so in this uh, turn i am uh, thank you so much and uh, on the next turn we will discuss uh, some more things thank you so much